In this example problem, we're going to find our moment curvature for a doubly reinforced section. We're going to use a singly reinforced section as a point of comparison. So you can see that if we would uh, find our moment curvature for a singly reinforced section, we'll get a moment curvature value of uh, 4.09. Um, so to start, uh, our part B will start by finding uh, or using equilibrium. So our tension equal to compression. And our tension in this case is our area steel and tension times Fy. We're assuming our uh, tension steel yields plus uh, A prime S Fy uh, plus 0.85 F prime C B beta 1 C. Now we could go uh, through this example um, assuming that our, our compression steel yields um, I'll, I'll tell us that we're going to find that our compression steel doesn't yield. So I'm going to use uh, F prime S in our example, uh, or in this expression. So next we need to solve for C. So when we solve for C, we'll get our C equal to our uh, AS FY minus A prime uh, F prime S over 0.85 F prime C B times beta 1. Uh, so we can start plugging in our values. Our AS, we have 3 number 8 bars, 9 inches squared, so 0.79 inches squared, uh, minus 3 times 0.44 square inches times our F prime S, which we don't know yet, uh, divided by our 0.85 times 4 KSI times 12 inches times for 4 KSI we have 0.85. Uh, but remember that our 0.85 will change and it will depend on our concrete strength. Um, so next we need to find our uh, F prime S in terms of C. So to find our uh, F prime S in terms of C, we'll go to our strain diagram. Uh, so we know that our neutral axis is at a depth of C, and we know that our F prime S is uh, at a distance um, C minus D prime. Um, away from the neutral axis. So then we can write an expression for uh, F prime S in terms of uh, C here. So we'll have ES, our modulus, times C minus D prime over C times 0 0.003. And uh, we can find our D prime then. So our D prime is equal to one and a half inches cover plus three eighths inch, uh, which is our number three tie, plus three eighths inch, which is half of our number six bar. And we'll get this to be 2.25 inches. So if we plug our D prime into this expression and then this expression in for our FS, we can solve for our, our C, because C will be our only unknown, and what we'll end up finding is that our C is equal to 3.15 inches. And you can use any kind of solver to, uh, to solve this expression. We can then plug in our C into our FS to check our assumption that F, uh, our F prime S doesn't yield, and we'll find our F prime S to be 24.9 KSI. Um, so finally, we can find our curvature, phi sub n, which is just our ultimate strain, 0 0.003, divided by our C. 3.15 inches. This will give us a curvature of 9.52 times 10 to the negative fourth radians per inch. Next we're going to find our yield curvature. Uh, so we can do this by summing our uh, moments about our neutral axis here, uh, or our areas. So our first one is our B times KD, which is our area times KD over 2, which is the distance from the center of that area to our neutral axis. 
Then we have uh, n prime minus 1 times a s, which is our transformed area, times the distance between that and the neutral axis, k d minus d prime. And then finally we have our uh, n times a s, which is our transformed steel area, uh, times the distance from that centroid to our neutral axis. Uh, so we, we can then plug in all of our uh, known values, and we'll have um, b, which is 12 inches, divided by 2, times kd, our unknown, squared, plus n prime for 4 ksi is going to be 7.1. Uh, as is our three number six bars, 0.44 inches squared. And then kd is our unknown. Uh, we just solved for d prime 2.25 and then this is all equal to our n which is 8.1 times a s which we had three number eight bars and then times d which is 17.63 minus k d so now we have one unknown, which is KD, so we can solve for our KD. Um, so once again, you can use whatever solver you want, or uh, this simplifies to a, a quadratic fairly nicely. So if we were to simplify it to the quadratic form, we'll get 6 KD squared plus 28.6 KD minus 359 Point 0.5 equal to 0, and we can then solve for KD, which will be equal to 5.69. Uh, so then we can figure out our yield curvature, which our yield curvature is just equal to our uh, yield strain in the steel over D minus KD. So in our case, our yield cur or yield strain. 0 0.02, I'll say 1, divided by our 17.63 minus 5.69. And we'll get this to equal 1.73 times 10 to the negative fourth radians per inch. We can then calculate our curvature ductility which is just going to be equal to our ultimate curvature which we found to be 9.52 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by our yield curvature which is 1.73 times 10 to the negative fourth and this will give us a curvature ductility of 5 0.5. And we can compare this to uh, a, a curvature ductility of 4.09 for our singly uh, reinforced section. Um, so you can see that adding um, compression reinforcement allows us to uh, increase our curvature ductility.